category is feasible. Okay, sir. But it is not recommended because okay. metro is basically an intra-city okay. traffic mall within the city. Within the city. It is not between city to city. City. City to city should be suburban services. Suburban service. Rail services. That's it. Because metros are so expensive. Mm. And if you start uh, turning into tissue and all that, the ridership will not be in yeah. uh, rail connection, trains, that is what is required. Stations so also, after all, metro usually have a stations every one meter, every one kilometer to kilometer. Yeah. And if you are making it every ten kilometer, then metros yes. metros. They can go for suburban trains, usual trains. The high speed rail proposal, not a semi speed. Trivandrum up to Kanno project report. The survey, I did the project report. Uh, that project report, Trivandrum to Kanno, you can travel in two and a half hours. Trivandrum to Poiko is only two hours. Maximum speed of 350 kilometers. That was the project report we gave. But that was very expensive. Okay. I won't say very expensive, that is the normal uh, cost of high speed travel. But when this new government took over, they said, no, we can't spend so much money. We want a project which is less expensive. So they thought of SME high speed. Where I had proposed, my proposal was 350 kilometers speed per hour. Train used to can run 350 kilometers speed. Like what is happening, the, the bullet trains of Japan. In fun, in fun. Government said, no, we don't want it will make it 160 kilometers on yes, That is what they say. Now we are neither that nor this. Even this they have not been able to find proper code. They, which, because any new railway line means acquisition of land, acquisition of property, and there is resistance of yes. it. Here also the same problem will arise. There is no way out of it. But a high speed, a high speed or a semi-speed corridor is a must for Kerala. I entirely agree with that. This is what customers